Hey, what's up everybody? Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about projects. Because as you know, if you watch this channel very long, you know that I recommend that you try to find your own projects. You don't just rely on the projects that are assigned to you by your teachers at school, assuming that you are in a program. If you're learning on your own, then coming up with your own projects is really all you got going for you. But one thing I've noticed is when I talk to a lot of you and you're looking for projects, sometimes you're like, well, I really want a new project. I want a project that doesn't reinvent the wheel. And so today I wanted to talk to you about why you might want to reinvent the wheel. Now today's video is brought to you by all of the great people on Patreon that support this channel. And of course you can support the channel in other ways like buying merch or taking my course on Thinkific and by liking videos and subscribing to the channel. And of course I've talked about the idea of coming up with projects in previous videos, but just today I wanted to talk about novelty because a lot of you are worried sometimes about whether or not the project idea you're working on is new, whether it's been done before. You don't want to reinvent the wheel. You don't just want to build something that somebody else has built a thousand times, but I want to talk about that because so much of this depends on what you're trying to get out of it. If your goal is to make a billion dollars, if you're trying to go full Mark Zuckerberg on this thing, then yes, novelty is important. You need to do something different. You need to do something creative and new and something that's going to change the world and that people are gonna pay a billion dollars for. If you are a PhD student, a master student, actually if you're any student, undergrads do research too, if you're working on research, then novelty also is probably important because your whole goal is to do something new, something that expands the science of the field and that teaches the research community something new that they didn't know before. So in that case, reinventing the wheel is not necessarily a great idea. But if your goal is to simply improve your skills, to become a better programmer, to learn how software works, to understand some API, something like that, then reinventing the wheel can be a great idea. Because projects that have already been done, basically you know that they can be done, they have a well-defined behavior, so you don't have to spend all of your time thinking about what should this thing do, you can think about how it should work, and how do I use my programming tools, my languages, my compiler, how do I use all these tools that I already have, how can I bring them together in a way to build something where I already know what it's supposed to do. And that's true whether it's a web browser, a web server, whether it's a game, whether you're building a memory allocator, whether you're building your own operating system, whether you're building a little robot, whatever it is, if your goal is to improve your programming skills, then it's often actually a huge advantage to do something that has been done before and has well-known behavior and well-known properties because it helps you know when you've succeeded. And it also helps you communicate to others what you did. And really that's it for today's video. I just wanted to share that little pep talk. As you are thinking about project ideas, don't necessarily be deterred by the fact that someone's already done it. In fact, those are some of the best project ideas out there. Like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. And until then, I'll see you later.